Hi, I'm Kristen Schaub. I'm from Harvey Grace Elementary and I'm the 2013-14 Harford County Teacher of the Year. Every step of this journey has left me saying it can't get better than this. And it began with being nominated last year. The selection process where you're filling out an application, you're answering questions, and you're being interviewed, that was some of the best professional development I've had. And just the celebration of making the top ten and the top five, I felt so rewarded and so validated just going through the process that by the time that I got to the banquet, I thought, if this is where it ends, it has been more than enough. And I was just honored to be there as one of the top five. You feel so appreciated by the community and by your county and by your school. I think as teachers, so often we're so ingrained in what we're doing in the classroom that we rarely get to see the support from the community. When they called my name, things like this just were not even in my radar as to something that I could achieve. I come to work every day. I love what I do. I'm passionate about it, and I never imagined that it would end with this. I walked away that night with a car for a year, an amazing car. I got a watch, I got a ring, I had a laptop and a Kindle, and I got a really generous check from Harco and over $1,000 worth of gift cards from every place imaginable. I remember a few days after I won, all of a sudden thinking, oh my goodness, what did I get myself into? And finding out that you have all of the teachers from previous years who have won Teacher of the Year, you also have the support of the Communications Office. So though in the beginning I was a little nervous as to how this year was going to look, I have found that every step of the way I was so prepared because I had such an amazing support system around me. You get to do a lot of speaking engagements, you keep up with a blog, you get to talk to a lot of different people from students from other schools and teachers, uh, principals. I talk with our school leadership personnel. I meet with our superintendent as well as the state superintendent regularly and in the spring I get to go to Annapolis and meet with our politicians and discuss the issues important to teachers. I've gone to Ravens games and Terps games and Orioles games. I got to throw out the first pitch at an Ironbirds game. It's just so many opportunities that come because your teacher of the year that I would have never experienced anywhere else. All of it is leading up to a gala in October that is amazing. Even if you're not one of the finalists and even if you don't win, you are held up and respected because of what you've already earned. It was such a special memory for me and it's one that I can't wait to see the next Teacher of the Year get to experience. I think one of the things I was the most proud of was that I didn't just win this award for myself and to bring that sense of pride to my kids and to my school was something that I will treasure forever. I've grown so much in confidence. I've had to step outside of my classroom and out of this school building and join a community much larger. I've grown in my passion for what I do. I've fallen more in love with teaching because of what I've been through this year. And I've built relationships with educators that are going to last a lifetime. Every part of this year has become a story that I cherish. And I just think if I had never been nominated, I would have missed out on something that has changed my life. I encourage you to consider nominating that teacher who sticks out in your mind. The simple act of nominating them can change not just their year, but their entire career. Hi, I'm Renee Villarreal, proud principal at Harvard Grace Elementary School. From the moment we nominated Kristen Schaub, we felt a sense of pride and accomplishment that goes beyond words. At our school, we work to build a climate and culture that is encouraging and supports one another. Educators need to do that more often. Getting your school community involved in this process will do just that. I encourage my colleagues to nominate a teacher that is worthy of this recognition. The process will help you be more reflective and will enhance the climate in your building. I am so grateful that we nominated Ms. Kristen Schaub and thankful that she became the 2013-14 Teacher of the Year. This experience has pulled her out of her comfort zone and has given her leadership experiences that have been amazing. This process has also strengthened our school and it has put Haverty Grace Elementary on the map.